My name is Gaius Julius Mento. I died centuries ago. I am a tribunus in the Legion of the Dead. We are serving Septimus Sir, the fearsome leader of Abarakan. He once descended into the underworlds to recruit an army of fallen veterans. We are the Night Legion, the ultimate army of Rome. We are more powerful than ever, and we are ready to return. We crossed a dozen hells to get out of Tartarus, but finally, we have found the way out. Only to arrive to the island between the realm of the living and the dead. Avalon. Another pit of the Underworlds. Again. This is not the Underworlds. As a flamen of Orcus, the priest of the Lord of the Dead, I can feel the difference. What difference? Just look around. Volcanoes are the gates to the Underworlds. We are almost free. Believe me, Tribunus. How can you be so certain? I've been sensing the presence of a Roman shrine for a while. It beckoned to me like a sacred flame. That couldn't happen in the Underworlds. A Roman shrine? Could we be back in Italia? It is definitely not Italia. We are somewhere else. Somewhere more dangerous and well protected. The simple fact that we seem to have arrived without our soldiers. I have no idea. This place is ancient. I can feel it, but I need to know more. Whatever protects this land from invaders, it is very powerful. We will use that power to fulfill our Emperor's wish. At least I'm here to protect you, my Tribunus. seeing any birds or trees down there? If you mean living birds or trees, then the answer is no. Look. Evil spirits! Lord, have mercy on us! Did you see it? living flesh. Let's follow them. They'll probably lead us to a settlement. Do you believe me now, Tribunus? I honestly don't know. But you might be right. Why aren't you working, slave? The monsters crawled out of the burning pit! Hmm... What...
strange looking Italians. I never said we are in Italia. Whatever. Let's talk to them. Go! Raise the camp! Halt, ugly spirits! Return to your pit! In the name of the old gods, I command you again, leave. I don't know what kind of spirits you are, but I warn you, this land is under the protection of the old gods. Leave now. We are not running. The old gods will protect us. Tartarus is nice. You shall see. Grovel and beg. You are right. This is not Italia. But I have an educated guess who were these barbarians. These were picked warriors. Sola and I fought them once in Eberacum. I remember these painted devils clearly. Well, we are definitely not in Britannia. This land is magical. I can feel it. It's not the underworlds, but it's still connected to the afterlife and the gods. Centuries after your death, it was a Roman province in the north of Britannia. There I met Sulla before I persuaded him to recruit a legion in Tartarus. Exactly. The best soldiers who ever served Rome during its long history. Legionnaires who were once ready to die for Rome. Like you, Gaius Julius Mento. Yes, it was taken by your glorious kinsman, Julius Caesar, Rome's greatest general. Emperor Sulla has a huge respect for him. That is why he chose you as his tribunus. Your bloodline is noble. You are from the best dynasties of Rome. Now it belongs to the Legion. They seem to be terrified of the Legionnaires here. A mirror would explain the reason why much better than I could. Anyway, fear is good. Anything of value beyond a few Sturdius? Look, cattle. 
There must be people in this village. This village is empty. Where is everyone? They're hiding. Not everyone. Look. Salve, Legionnaires. I am afraid, but I had no choice. The Master sent me to talk to you. Yes, we are all their slaves here. They make us collect sulfur from the burning pit. Yes, I am. My mother was. My name is Flora. There are a few former citizens of Nova Roma around here. That used to be our colony. Once a Roman city. Now it's just haunted ruins. It is down in the valley. An hour's walk from here. But the road leads through the main camp of our masters. I don't know what kind of monsters you are. But even you won't have it easy. And yet this is what happened. One day they came, slaughtered our people, and made the survivors their slaves. We had no chance against them. Perhaps you will save us. Thank you. Be aware. The masters are watching you. Even now, they are planning to ambush you as soon as I give them the sign. I'll have to. Please be prepared. Thank you, Legionnaires. They are slaves, like me. If you really attack the main camp, they will be there to help you. They are not warriors, like you, but they are our best, and they want to fight for their freedom. This is an insult to Rome. The picked savages must die. The Ninth Legion will restore order to the world. Fiat Ordo.
Roman ruins. Perhaps that is the sanctuary that led you here, Flamen. I felt a much stronger force. This is just a roadside shrine, but it's an encouraging sign indeed. can sense magic. Something is hiding there. Approach with caution. Maybe we shouldn't go any closer. Attack! You are not destined to die. You really want to kill me, don't you? For the Legion! You hit me fair. No need to be afraid. Count the spoils. The dispatter has spoken to me. Ha! Stand back while I count the spoils. Ha! We served our pay. Place of worship.
We are expected from the opposite direction. We can surprise them from here. to kill me, don't you? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I am... I am sorry. Please, forgive me. It has been destroyed, but I don't know how. The Flamina ordered us to flee to the mountain before chaos swallowed us all. She is... was... a strong woman. She was the priestess of the goddess Vesta, and the leader of Novaroma. Our leader. Otherwise, she would have come for us. Otherwise, the mast... The barbarians couldn't have conquered us. She's gone with her beloved city. No doubt about it. The barbarians told us. Even they didn't dare go down there. The ones who tried never returned. They said the dead ruled the city. Oh, I'm not smart enough for that. But the Flamina was right. Everything went wrong. Everything. Since then, I, I never dared to leave the mountain again. After all this time, I'm free again. Thank you, stranger. I pray to the gods for you. Who are you? 
I want to thank you again for setting me free. Please allow me to repay you. I, I know where the barbarians hid their treasure. I can show you, if you like. Follow me. Everything in that chest belongs to the Legion. Here is the treasure. Only those who know about its presence can see it. It is yours now. Take everything. sanctuary that calls me is near, but it is not right here. This road leads to Nova Roma, and I sense the sanctuary in the very same direction. Never. A strange name indeed. Who would dare to call their city Rome? It has a very strong connection to our ancient Roman gods. It is a beacon for all believers. It is like the Capitolium Vetus, or the sacred fire of Vesta in Rome. I agree, Tribunus. I have the feeling that this city is much more than I thought. We need to find out what happened to it.
So this is Nova Roma. Or what's left of it. And the ruins are swarming with the dead. Fortunately, you have a flamen of Orcus in your company. Stay behind, and let me get them out of the way. Orky nominee Exe. I've been expecting something else. So have I. Whatever these creatures are, Orcus has no power over them. Then we should use a more conventional solution. For Orcus! Blame it on the gods! Tartarus is nice. You shall see. Never mind the fangs and horns. Plenty <laughs> more to the shores of Styx. Statue of the Goddess Vesta. Wait, this might be a trap. Look, there is a woman lying there. Is she dead? She seems to be the source of all the power that led me here. But those idols are keeping her imprisoned. Trap or not, we must go closer to her.
She is partly dead. Her soul is trapped in a dream that never ends. She is trying to wake up, but she simply can't. Still, we must talk to her. What can you do? I could try something. Through the connection that led us here, I can tie her to our bond. It may bring her back. We have no other choice. Do it. What have you done with me? I feel cursed. Dirty. Thanks for what? For cursing me with your unclean demonic blood? I know exactly what you were and what you have become. And now you turned me into the same. The call of Orcus. Oh, you have the nerve, Flamen. Gaius Julius. Then you are my kin. My name is Albina Virgila, but I was also born of the Gens Julius back in Rome. I am the priestess of Vesta. When chaos came, I locked myself in this sanctuary. My soul became the last spark that fed Vesta's fire. I became one with the city but I became a prisoner of my own shelter. This is my city, Nova Roma, the seed of ethereal Rome, the future of all Romans, a great dream that can be true by the magical power of Avalon. Look, dear Gaius Julius, I'll answer all your questions, but we're running out of time. I need your help. You woke me up. Therefore, the city is defenseless. Chaos will consume everything if we do not rekindle Vesta's fire. If you are a true Roman, you must help me. With your demonic mark on my soul, I can no longer be the flame. The city is defenseless until we rekindle the fire of Vesta. The deities of fate may have woven the threads of our lives together for a reason. Demons never sleep. Flamina! There you are! Domina Terentia, but I had no choice. Damn you! Bear my curse, fallen virgin! What was that? When the tide of chaos swept over the land, 
I could only save either my people or my city. And you decided to save your city. Yes. I chose the future over the present. It's a simple curse meant as a revenge. I could remove, but we must find her body first. We served our pay. No escape from fate. Behold the Maiden of Death. Raise the Aquila higher. Split my vessel open. Ta 
Tartarus is nice. You shall see. I mourn your passing. No escape from fate. In another life, I would have mourned them. By Mars. That is our reward for the struggle? Now promise her something, Flamina. Preferably something she cares about. Make a vow. I swear to you, Domina, that I will rebuild Nova Roma. Good. That'll do. Done. The curse is gone. Thank you, Flamen of Orcus. Nova Roma is the seed of an eternal Rome, which could be the future for all Romans. A dream that could be shaped by the powers of this magical land. How could these ruins be an eternal Rome? This enchanted land is bursting with magical powers beyond your imagination. Dreams can really come true here. You mean nightmares, do you? Have you seen this place? This is not my dream. Even here, only a select few can make the dreams come true. One of them seems to have gone mad, which caused this chaos. Hmm. Anything of value beyond a few Sturdius? The Dispatter has spoken to me. With your help, I can make these ruins a safe home for thousands again. This used to be the arena. Every Roman city must have one, right? Well, we'll accept that there is something unusual here. Or someone. Avalon is an island in the other world. A magical place. And the arena is no exception. You might want to talk to him. shall not fall to the Romans.
This is me killing you. Learn your place. Push back the Roman folks. shield. Wealth is the slave of a wise man, and master of a fool. You remind me of Caesar, Dominus. Oh, one less challenge. For the ultimate reward, I was the task. Hero of the Battle of Alasia. I fought alongside the great Julius Caesar. After my retirement from the Tenth Legion, I became a gladiator, the celebrated champion of Rome. It is a less known secret 
that Caesar had to fight against the folk of the woodland spirits in Britannia. They ambushed the marching column while the Romans were crossing their mysterious forest. This time, I'll fight on your side, Dominus. You have earned it! Stand for life. for death. Testing me. 
Is it a valley eye? Yes, it used to be the bathhouse. And now you truly convinced me that Nova Roma must be rebuilt. Food for the blind. A place to rest. No more rest until everything is under our heel. Here we are, at the Sanctuary of Vesta. When chaos consumed the city, I took the flame with me, fed it with my own soul. Now it's time to give it back to the Sanctuary, but I cannot do it alone. See those cauldrons around the Sanctuary? If I light them all, the fire of the Vesta will be rekindled. I am the only one who can do this. Help me get there and protect me. One more step, and the dead will swarm us in endless waves. Only sacred fire of Vesta in the shrine can destroy them and purify the city.
it's gonna leave a mark. A tribute to the goddess. Maiden of Death. The fire must be fed.
Vesta's blessing. Perennial flame. The sacred flame burns again. With its help, and under its protection, Nova Roma will be rebuilt. This is your new home too, Gaius Julius, my kin. Together, we will build Eternal Rome. Absolutely. What kind of Roman city would it be without a bathhouse? You must have missed such luxuries during your centuries in Tartarus. Yes, I did. You have questions about Avalon, don't you? This is a strange land indeed, the Island of Magic, the burial place of the gods. Of course not. Avalon used to be a battleground of the gods of the Old Faith and the beastly Fomorians. Many of them died here. Neither. Avalon is between the lands of the dead and the living. It is an island that cannot be found unless you are invited. It grants a second life for people like us. The ones who have died before. I was buried alive in Rome because of my mistakes. But I got a second chance. The goddess of the lake brought me here and asked me to found a Roman colony on Avalon. She is... She was the guardian of Avalon. I suppose the gods appointed her. But she's gone. She gave her life to defend this land when chaos came. I'll rebuild Nova Roma. Now that the goddess of the lake is gone, I'll reshape Avalon to become eternal Rome. I need your help and protection to achieve that. I agree with the priestess. The city shall be rebuilt, and the island must be conquered. I always dreamt about an eternal Rome. Avalon could be the capital of that new empire. Emperor Sulla must hear about this. Vesta is the goddess of home and life, and I walk her path. Eternal Rome must not become a realm of demons. This is my city. Wealth is the slave of a wise man, and master of a fool. <laughs> 